What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku, and today we're going for some razor clams. It's a night dig tonight. It is 8 p.m. right now. Low tide is at 9.30 p.m. So we're still an hour and a half from low tide, which is gonna be a negative 1.6. So a perfect low tide for some razor clamming. Razor clamming just happened to open up right before we leave the Pacific Northwest. And I was thinking, man, it wouldn't be complete without getting some razor clams. So we're gonna see what we can do today and hopefully we can get some razor clams and we're gonna go make some delicious food right after. I'm also out here with Life Northwest Fishing Secrets. They're right up there looking for the first clam. Let's see what we got. Anything? I've already got my limit, man. Already got your limit. Got Look at limit, this dude. guy. The guy just set up the camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got one though. Yeah, I got one, man. Look at that. Oh, sick. That's nice. Oh yes, that's like a, this is the one that you boys and girls write home about. That's a good one, man. That's, that's the, the stories of the elders talk about these guys right here. <laughs> Which I think it's squirty in the face too. <laughs> but yeah, no, got one. Um, he, he just kind of like dimpled away a little bit and was disappearing in the sand. Yeah. But um, no volcanoes over here. Jocelyn's heavily working on them. All right. Uh, but this area could Keep happen working. Now. All right, awesome. Keep working. So look at look at Jocelyn's technique here. She's stomping the ground right there, right there. To the left of you, right there. Oh, uh, what is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of looked like a hole right there. Centered over the hole and always angle it slightly towards the ocean. Oh. Like kind of back from the ocean. Sorry, other way around. Like that. Yep, that angle right there. Because they sit in there kind of at an angle and that oh, way you I don't see. crush the clam. I see. My weight doesn't even get it in. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, it's kind of like push and like wiggle it down. Like kind of jiggle it and you have to liquefy the sand over it. There you go. Plug the hole. Oh. oh, yep, then plug the hole. And yeah, go for seconds. <laughs> oh, there, oh is. there he is! Pulling out. Oh, yay. Grab that sucker. Oh, yeah, you oh, did it. First you got it. Ground. Put him in your bag. <laughs> do, you, <laughs> do you have to fill your holes here? No, huh? The uh, ocean. No, not on razor clams. The ocean yeah. fills it, it the, the himself. About to fill it itself, yeah. Dang, I don't get to say my favorite line fill your hole. No crunch. Oh, I saw him. I saw him. Oh, shoot. Crunched him. Oh, I'm going to get him right here. What? Oh no, it just got his siphon. Uh, well, you got kind of just really crushed him. That here. really got crushed. You saw him in half, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're a savage, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> my first razor clam right oh, no. here, guys. Um, yeah, that was my bad. I'm pretty sure that right there is a razor clam hole. I am almost certain. I'm new to this, so I don't have the uh, the very best of eyes yet. But look at that, it's moving. All right, Jocelyn, get this guy. Oh, did I just see him? Got him. Oh, he's right here. Got him. Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute, she said. <laughs> nice. Clammy Gonzalez back at it again. Good job. Oh, here's another one. Another one here? Right oh, there. another one right there. The dimple. Oh, yeah. He's digging down, too. Oh, totally, right there. See how right now, actually, you don't see it, but when you yeah. stomp, see how it turns, like... Oh, yeah, yeah, do it again. Oh, yeah, there he goes. Oh, oh right oh. there. See him, though. Ooh. Nice. Oh, that's a good one. Damn. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> no. Uh, there was another one. Oh, right here. All right. Do you want to dig that one? Uh, no, no, it's all good. That's a little one. I'll let Taku dig that one. <laughs> 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 and this is called a clam gun. And you just put your thumb on it, makes a suction, and you pull up the sand. 
Yeah, I gotta go a little deeper. Oh, that's a nice section of the dirt. Oh, look at that. He was pretty deep. Nice. Yeah, I got him. That is officially uh, my full, my first full-size razor clam. <laughs> oh, look how pretty that is. So the technique here is I'm kind of try trying to disturb them, basically. So they start digging down. Wait, Jocelyn's got one. You got one? Yeah, but look at it. A good one. Oh, Jocelyn got a nice one again. Nice and once they dig down, you can actually see the dimple uh, in the sand. She loves climbing so much that she's just going off. And we have just one clam gun between the two of us. She's just focused right now. She's just focused, looking for the, looking for the dimples. Look at her. <laughs> Yeah, here we go. Let's see if she gets one here. She's digging down, and she's all the way down. She's, yeah, use the legs. Use your legs, not your back. <laughs> there we go. Let's see. Nothing? Nothing, nothing. But she, look, look, she won't give up, though. She won't give up. She's like, I, she, she's hungry for those clams. Let's see, come on, come on, get one here, get one here. Oh, she got one though, she got one. She got one, but she said she destroyed him. I found I found one right here. Oh, a sand flea? No, no, I found a dimple. Oh, oh, that's a good one. That's a big one, Tom. Uh-oh, it's, it's crunching. Crunch. We gotta get him. Oh, this guy. Oh, man. Did he get away from me? Oh, I found it. Oh, you got him? Got him. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one, dude. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, I broke him a little bit. <laughs> that's why they call me Captain Crunch. I keep crunching mine. But at least I got him. I thought I lost him there for a second. Doctor, what do you think about razor clamming? It's a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be, actually. Um, yeah, they're, they're deep. It's, they're, yeah. they're not just easy pickets at the surface, huh? Mm -mm, no, no, no. You got to keep. You got to have an eye for it. I feel like. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. you got to have an eye for it. That little dimple or whatever. Then yeah. you know what you're looking for. Yeah, for sure. Speaking of trained eye. All right. Let's see if Jocelyn's got one here. Double. Oh yeah. Good job, good job. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, there it is. Oh, look at his tongue. Yeah. Oh, my God. Where are you going? Into my bag. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it would be um, a little bit easier because it seems like it would be easy because you just have the clam gun, just push it down. But you got to have that eye for it, I think. And in, in the dark, it's pretty difficult. It's not that easy. We're still getting them, especially Jocelyn. She just keeps on digging. She just keeps on digging. Oh, she got another one right there. Let's look. Let's go look at that. Wow, that's a nice one. Hold it to the camera. That's the biggest one, maybe. Here are our clams. We have more. Jocelyn got more than that. But these are some of the nice ones that we have. Uh, we could go way longer because the tide's going to be out for another hour and a half, probably. But I want to get cooking before it's too late. So. We're going to call it for now and head back and go make some delicious, delicious clam chowder, Manhattan right, style. All right, so we have the ingredients all laid out right here. Got some celery, garlic, potatoes, onion. I got one serrano. I got a couple of tomatoes, lemon, as well as my lobster mushroom that we got in the other episode. If you haven't seen that, check that out. We got some tomato paste. Oh, we got some bacon right here as well and got a few beers for us i got some white wine too and of course the razor clams that we just harvested so let's get cooking i like the i like the penny knife i just love how garlic smells uh 
Sean just like texted me, uh -huh. and he, I think he watched like your squid video or something. Oh, where yeah, you're drinking yeah. Mac and Jacks. He's like, he yeah. says he knows the owner of Mac and Jacks. Oh, really? Yeah. Tell him to hook us up. That's right. Shout out to Mac and Jacks Brewery. <laughs> I'll put my PO box in the description below. You know, if you guys want to send me any beers. Just gotta ship it to California though. <laughs> All right, cheers, guys. Good clamming. Cheers, guys. Hey, thank you, life, for taking us out clamming. First time razor clamming. Thank you for like doing it, man. <laughs> Mm. That was cool. <sighs> Two gulps and I almost finished this beer. <laughs> I've noticed in your videos, you take a big first gulp. Because <laughs> that's the best gulp. It is. The it's first the refreshing gulp is, one. You take it and you just like... <sighs> yep. and it's... So what do you got going on here? All right, we're going to make some Manhattan style clam chowder. It's like a red bay, uh, red chowder instead of the classic New England like white chowder. So I got the salt water boiling. I'm going to do them. Maybe two at a time. Just gonna blanch them really quickly. And we're using all the broken ones, uh, which is most of mine, and some of the non broken ones because we probably oh, need a little more. He pops open. Oh, yeah. And once he pops open, I'm gonna take him out because that's when you know it's ready. Oh, wow, beautiful. Oops. Wow, look how beautiful it is. Look at the purple. I wanted to blanch them for two reasons to get them open and also to get this nice, tasty clam broth right here that I have just created by blanching the clams. Some clam anatomy here. That's the foot right there. You got the guts there. And the guts, you can take, you can take that out. Cut the tip of the siphon off. Butterfly the siphon open. And there we go. And we'll check. You see there's some sand in there. We'll wash that off. Go, nice and clean. All right, let's try it, Life. Life and I will try, take a piece. <laughs> Cheers, man. Cheers. <laughs> tender. So tender. Not chewy at all. So flavorful. A lot of flavor. So Almost tasty. A little sweet. Yeah, a little sweet, a little salty. A little salty, got the taste of the sea. I'm gonna try the foot right here. Yeah, usually I like the foot the most when we cook them. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Oh, dude. Tender. Dude. So smooth. All right, Justin. Mm. Oh, it is really sweet. Sweet, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm. That's tasty. Razor clams, amazing. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that one has a bite to it, too. <laughs> I have all the clams prepared. Ooh, that's a good amount of clams. And I caught them pretty chunky, nice bite-sized pieces. So I'm gonna throw the, the garlic, the onions, the serranos. Maybe not all of it, maybe. All right, I got some bacon in this one. I'm gonna get that going. Should've gotten the bacon going here first, but you know what, it's all good. I'm gonna add all the tomatoes, potatoes, and the mushrooms in here. And, all right, I don't have a big pot right now. All I have is a skillet. So we're gonna make as much as we can in this skillet. So it's gonna be a nice chunky chowder because we're putting a lot in here. I have the clam stock right here and I'm just gonna add it in here. There's some sand in the bottom, but that's just on the bottom so it's all right. Some clam stock going in. Ooh. Got some tomato paste here. Just gonna squeeze it in a bunch of tomato paste. Add a little bit of salt. And the bacon should be ready to go in. Some of the fat too. Woo. I'm gonna add some water to this. The batter's gonna die soon. And we just wanna make sure that the potatoes are cooked fully. So I'm just gonna add a good amount here. Just like that. 
time to add the clams in. Ooh. It is looking good. We're about done here. Check it out, guys. This is my Manhattan style clam chowder, razor clam chowder. And look at the chunky pieces of clam on there. Oh, this is going to be one tasty chowder. I can tell you that. All right, and this is from the ramen we had earlier. How much do you want? You want a whole bowl? Guess I'll get my razor clams out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, also with the lobster mushrooms too. Oh, the lobster, the lobster mushroom. mushrooms. I'm so glad man. you guys found those, man. Yeah, so cool. All right, let's give it a shot. Dude, this is exciting. I love how chunky mm. this is. Without even mm. tasting it, I can already say I like this a lot more than anything mm. <laughs> store-bought or... The yeah. smell is so good too. Mm -hmm. Look at all the smell. Ooh. Mm. Got some bread too. Mm -hmm. Dip that bread in. Dip the bread. Dip the bread. Oh. oh. <laughs> Every bite is clam. Every bite is clam, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The tomato base is actually really, really good. Mm -hmm. This is my first time making a Manhattan style, actually. Well, I the usually. I'm trying Manhattan style. Yeah. Oh, really? I usually yeah. do just a white chowder, you know, the mm -hmm. New England style. And you did a great job. <clears throat> and this, wow, this it is really tasty. Mm. Mm. Definitely better than I've had in a restaurant or anything. Yeah, man, if you had this, if I had this in a restaurant, I'd be like, damn, this, this restaurant knows how to make yeah. a chowder. Mm -hmm. You're like, damn. <laughs> like, how did I not pay more for this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing, like, if you actually, they would have to charge so much for this mm -hmm. to have that much clam in there. Mm. Oh, the foot. I got the foot of the clam. and Oh, you got a foot. I'm going to dig for a foot, man. <laughs> it's like oh. the burst of flavor. There it is, there it is. There's the, the foot, there the is. foot. There's a little bit of sauce on him. Oh. It's just the burst of flavor, that mm -hmm. that piece. Best part. Best part. Yeah, hands down. Always been my favorite. Mm -hmm. It's a spot too, man, after like being on the beach all night. Getting it's those clams spot. and... Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's past midnight right now. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right. It hits the spot. Mm. Mm. Perfectly. Mm -hmm. Like I said in the beginning, a Pacific Northwest trip wouldn't be complete without some razor clamming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's for sure. You can actually get razor clams in Northern California too, but I've never gone out for them over there. Uh, I know they do a lot in Oregon too. But yeah, the PNW. That's the razor clam spot. I haven't even had any beer with this. Oh, yeah. I <laughs> know, right? I forgot about the beer. Damn! <laughs> Cheers, man. Cheers, man. The Space Needle IPA. Ah, Space Needle IPA. Okay. Good. I got a majestic one. Was that a foot? That's a foot. I want the foot. Here. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this is mine. That was your foot, man. It's mine. I'm going to show my people over here. That piece right here. That is the foot of the clam. Amazing. Mm. So good. It's so good. I wasn't sure about the red chowder in New England. It's really good. It's good, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Red chowders are so good. It's because I grew up near Monterey, so we're oh, yeah. all about the white chowder. All about the white chowder. They always have the white. Mm -hmm. No hate on the white chowder, though, either. That mm -hmm. stuff's good, too. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. It's all kind of good. 
Especially oh, yeah. while you're out camping, this kind of meal is just like, hits so perfect. <laughs> well, we're about done here. What a good evening that we just had. Wow. Ah. Life, thank you again. If you guys haven't seen Life, Northwest Fishing Secrets, make sure to check him out. He's got a beautiful channel. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs> I said that a little weird. We'll see you guys next time. Peace. Peace. <laughs> Keep eating this, man. Yeah. Who's good? Do we really have s'mores? Yeah, I really do.